Sean Wilson coming off your, your NAC win here today in the cadet event. Sean, at Alliance, what are some of the things that you guys are, are working on to prepare you for success in these competition environments? Uh, so a lot of times, you know, there are days we'll do missions. So we'll work on, you know, you have to, you have to be the one on defense. You have to work on setting up your counterattack, your parry, you know, or there'll be times that you have to set up, you have to work on your attack, setting up your, you know, your attack. And um, I think that Alliance does a really good job preparing us for different scenarios and uh, tournaments so we can be really successful. And with those drills, uh, uh, I mean, walk us through one of, one of uh, the common drills that you might encounter All in right. one week. So um, maybe the coach will say, you know, you have 30 seconds, the guy you're fencing, he's up by two touches, so you have 30 seconds to come back. And, you know, we really have to work, especially on the first touch, because, you know, if the, the other person scores, then it makes it a lot harder. So you have to, you know, take the right amount of time, you know, take, you know to set up your action. And, set up a really good action so you can get the touch. Now setting up really good actions at Alliance can be a challenge. You have a, <laughs> a dominant group yeah. of, of bouting partners there, uh, from the, the Hurleys to uh, um, Lewis, Lewis Weiss, along with Simmons. Uh, who, who do you find yourself bouting with most often? Uh, probably Ari. Ari's a great mentor. He, uh, he helps me a lot. If there's something I'm struggling with in one of my bouts or you know, I need help with something, he's always there to tell me you know, what I can fix and what I need to work on. So usually I, I bow with Ari a lot because he's, he's always there you know, to help me out with what I need help on. What are some of the biggest areas where Ari has been able to, to lend advice and, and help you along? Uh, I think that Ari has really, you know, that maybe if I got stuck on some action or I was just doing one thing, Ari would say, hey, you know, the first part of the bout, this was working and this is why it stopped working and this, you know, the second part of the bout. So you need to learn, you know, you need to work on changing. And that was definitely something that Ari helped me with. So now I definitely feel like, you know, I can change in a bout when I need to. And obviously a credible source with uh, him being a senior national team member at just, what, 18 years of yeah, age? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and outside of that, who are some of your most challenging bouts in practice? Uh, Jonathan Piskovatska, he's very challenging. You know, Elliot Herbst, uh, my brother. You know, there's some, you know, there's some very challenging fencers to fence, and it's great practice fencing them. Now, a lot of that could be for bragging rights. You, you mentioned your, your brother, Jonathan, uh, again, with the name Piskovatska. Uh, you guys traded bouts here this weekend. You, you won it today in the, or at least came away uh, with the gold, he in, with the bronze in the cadet event. But in the junior event, uh, head to head, he, he came away with the win. Yeah. How, do, how does that uh, lend itself to bragging rights at the club? Uh, I don't really think it does because I think at Alliance, you know, we all treat each other as a team and we're all really proud of each other's results. And, you know, I think that you know, me and Jonathan, one of us, we're going to make eights. And, you know, Jonathan happened to make eights in junior. So I'm proud of Jonathan as my teammate. And I'm sure Jonathan's really proud and happy for me. And I'm proud of Jonathan for, you know, his bronze today as well. So. Now, one thing uh, in an interview with Lewis Weiss at Summer Nationals uh, this past June, he talked a lot about the family culture and pretty much what you just uh, kind, of, kind of described there is that it's a very welcoming environment, uh, a very hospitable and accommodating feel to it. Everyone's helping everyone and, and all focused on one common goal. What's one way you, you really see that? Uh, what's, what's one way that that culture is really illustrated for you? So for me, you know, um, we have a lot of fencers going off to college. What I see is when I, I see a younger, there's a lot of younger students and I think that, you know, they're, they're always there for each other. They're always, you know, they're, they click really well together and, uh, you know, they're, they're all really good. You know, we have 40 something you know kids at one club because we have two clubs and then 40 something kids at the other club just in Y8 and so you know I think those kids are really getting along together they're really going to be good and I think especially you know when those kids get older they're going to be all like a family and they're, we're going to have you know Lions going to be much more successful and it already is. So. That's, a, that's a dangerous formula right there. Yeah. Now with that pipeline obviously producing uh, some great results right now how how uh, significant is it to have kind of at the top of that pipeline two Olympic bronze medalists in Kelly and Courtney Hurley? Oh uh, it's great you know fencing them is really difficult you know I'm always getting you know beat really bad by Courtney and you know it's definitely it's definitely eye-opening because you fence kids your age and then you know you fence Courtney and it's like wow you know, there's a lot of stuff that I need to work on, so. And how does that help you with your confidence, knowing that in many of your toughest bouts, they occur in practice? So when you come to a competition, you know, how are you approaching it? Oh, I'm, you know, I'm definitely prepared. I'm definitely prepared, you know, to handle a lot of situations, to have, handle tough fencers, to answer, to handle fencers that, you know, may, you know, I may have trouble fencing them, and then, you know, later on I figure it out. So definitely, you know, fencing all these tough fencers is definitely preparing me for tournaments. 
and giving me, you know, the, the head to, to push through and, you know, uh, stay confident. And how did you see that here in your fencing today or, or this weekend? What was, looking back on this weekend, the biggest win for you? Uh, you know, today I had two really strong comebacks. Um, I think that a lot of that was, you know, because of practice. You know, I'm fencing tough fencers all the time. I have to, you know, when I get down in practice, I try and change, you know, work on that, and I try and come back and win. You know, sometimes it doesn't always work, but definitely, definitely today that lent itself to me doing well because I was prepared, I knew what to do when I was down, and I changed, and it worked, so. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Thank and uh, best of luck going forward. Thank you.